this video from Casio Help. We're looking at the SES3 files and register and a quick look at programming cashiers onto the machine. So you might want to program cashiers with names and uh, pin codes to protect the register and identify who's processed certain transactions. So to do this, it's key round to the PGM mode. If you've got cashiers set up, you'll need to then log in at this point and then arrow down to Clark setting CA amount 10 to enter and this brings up all the information for the cashiers on the machine. So if you wanted to edit cashier 1, CA amount 10 to enter, you delete the default description here and then type in the new name or the correct name using the department buttons which have letters on the front of each of them so you can name the clerks. You can then also give a secret code, so currently the code defaults to whatever number cashier they are, so number one in this case. We can set this to four ones or any four digit code. I'm just going to do four ones to keep it simple so I can remember it. Um, and then once you're happy that you've changed the settings correctly, subtotal, you can arrow down to the next one. I'll just program two just so they were on there. So now the benefit of this is if I try and log on as operator two, unless I know the pin code, I can't actually log on. Comes up with my name on the display. And then the same for operator one. If I try and log on as operator one, I can't. I need to know their secret passcode. Okay, I hope that's cleared things up and made it easy for you to program the machine. You can check out our other videos which are appearing on screen now. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.